100 trillion. That's approximately how many neurologic connections you have inside your brain. Hey everyone, it's the wellness doctor, Dr. Jeffrey Clark from Marketplace Chiropractic Wellness Center. And our brain is so amazing. Our capacity to learn is basically endless. But what about the innate programming that we uh, are all born with that comes from thousands and thousands and thousands of years of human evolution. Uh, we have certain innate responses. One of them is startle. You do that next to a baby, they're gonna, they're gonna jump. We also have the instinct to suckle when we're, we're born. That's how we eat. But we are programmed to overemphasize the negative and underemphasize the positive. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, let's look back when we're hunter-gatherers. 20, 30, 40,000 years ago, our instincts were probably a lot different than they are today, but we've inherited many of those. One of them is to overemphasize the negative. And what do I mean by that? Let's say that we're hunting and gathering, and we don't find any food. Maybe there's a famine, maybe there's, you know, there, there's a drought. Uh, we want to pick berries, but there's no berries on the bushes because the bushes are dying because of the drought. The animals are forced away from where we're at, so we're not able to, to hunt. And we remember that we're programmed for avoiding starvation. So we innately do what we need to do to avoid starvation, which coincidentally is why we have all these thrifty genes in our body where we're not undernourished in the United States these days and anything we're, well, we are undernourished. Let me rephrase that. We're not underfed. And that's why we have so much obesity is because every little thing that we eat, we, we, we hold on to because that's the way we've been programmed uh, for many, many people. Uh, and so that's why we have such an obesity crisis because our, even if we try to starve ourselves and go on diets, our bodies are saying we have to hold on to this. But back to my story about the negative uh, experiences. So we're, we're worried about this starvation. We remember that in the future as we're hunting, we need to, to pick every last berry in order for, to survive potentially. Now, let's say our hunter-gatherer ancestors had a great year and every time they went out there were more than enough animals to to hunt more than enough berries to pick they were living in surplus they had a positive experience but in their brain they remember the negative experiences the potential for starvation more than the abundance of food the positive experiences now let's fast forward 10 20 30 40 thousand years to today and we still over uh, estimate our negative experiences, over, over express our negative experiences and under express our positive experiences. And now we have so many negative experiences that are affecting our health and well-being. Uh, we have the whole COVID-19 crisis, the pla uh, pandemic. Uh, and so we have this, this negativity. We see it in the news. Uh, people are losing their jobs. They're staying home. Suicide rates are up. Uh, domestic violence is up. Uh, it's affecting the economy because we're not back to work fully. And so that's a huge negative experience. And yet we have so many positive experiences. Maybe maybe we have more family bonding. Maybe we have more free time. Maybe we're learning some things uh, and uh, doing, have new opportunities to explore uh, different things in our lives because we have a different priority for our time and yet we will over evaluate and be very critical of all the negative and certainly there are plenty of negative things uh, in our lives right now but because of all the negativity the social unrest the political unrest all the negativity that we see on on social media and the and the news media uh, that comes back and we everyone else is over emphasizing it to us so we can't help but that so what we need to do is start calming down, calm the heck down, uh, and focus on your blessings. So one thing you can control is gratitude. So if you are grateful,
than the universe, then God gives you more things to be grateful for. So every day, be careful to avoid the negative. And when you're focused on negative thoughts, cancel them out. Just say, cancel, cancel, cancel. And then replace it with something that you're grateful for. Replace it with a positive thought. Replace it, uh, you know, my, my daughter and grandkids, they just did a video call with me. I don't get to see them in person as often as I want to. So doing a video call, I'm so very grateful uh, to experience that with them. So focus on what you're grateful for and the universe will give you more things to be grateful for. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of the neurology and the programming of your brain and why we tend to overemphasize negative events and underemphasize positive events. So I hope that was useful to you. Until next time, it's The Wellness Doctor. Catch you later.